Hey, Mike, uh, when a team scores 100 on you, is that them just being really hot or are you guys not playing good enough defense? Um, it's a, a mixture of both because, I mean, you can't just score 100 points and not be like not be hot, you know. But uh, we is definitely – has a lot to do with most mostly to do with us. We weren't good enough on defense. Uh, we didn't fight them enough. We didn't. We weren't physical enough, and uh, we we just got outplayed by an older team. How? Uh, I mean, I'm sure you expected them to be good. Did they surprise you in any ways today? Um, I and not really. I had watched a lot on them. I had watched almost all their games, uh, so I could see that they were a good team, but. Uh, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, they're just we're, – we're, we're a good team, and we're going to be able to get there. And I, I believe in, in, in what we have, and um, I think tonight was a great learning experience because this was our first time going against a team of this caliber or anywhere close. And, uh, I mean, we, we, it's our first time – like, they're, they're the best right now. They're the best in the country. And uh, we got to learn from this and uh, come back, get in the gym, listen to the coaches. Thanks, Mike. Uh, next question to Michael Gowen. Yeah, Mike, how were you guys prepared to, to face Baylor's pick and roll game? Excuse me, I, I couldn't hear that. How were you prepared to face Baylor's pick and roll game on offense, on on their offense, your defense? Um, I, uh, honestly, it it really started with uh, me and the other guards. Uh, we 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 weren't getting over screens how we should have. Um. We were too far back on ball screens. We didn't have enough ball pressure, and they made that. And then from there, they're they're smart players. They're good players. So once once they use that ball screen, it's it's sort of like under not under their control, but they 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 had they have the advantage. So we we had to do a better job from that, and then just be being in our gaps, playing defense better. We weren't good enough, not not anywhere near where we needed to be, anywhere near their level. But we're gonna get there. And what kind of player have you seen that Jared Butler is for for Baylor? Yeah, he's a, he's a good player, um, but the, he's not the only good player they had. Uh, they had their whole team is good players, and uh, that's just the reality of it. Um, that's that's what you get in this conference, and that that's the, why they're the best right now. But we're gonna we're gonna stay hungry, and uh, we're not we're not gonna back down. We're not gonna we're gonna see him again, and uh, we're gonna be ready for that. But for right now, we're, we're focused on Jacksonville coming back tomorrow and preparing for them. And just kind of what what kind of weapons does Baylor come at you inside and out? The uh, really, they're just they're a really good unit. They their their chemistry their their chemistry is really good. They know how to play with each other, and um, but at the end of the day, we got to disrupt that. I mean, that that's what it is, and that's. As I said, that's why they're good, but we're not. We're, we're just gonna learn from it because we could be that good. Sorry about that. Uh, next question for Tyler Kraft. Hey, Michael. Um, First half, you guys have 12 turnovers, and there were a lot of just slower possessions for you guys. What were they doing to kind of slow you down and stop you offensively? Honestly, uh, they were they were just playing their normal defense. Uh, a lot of it, it started with me. It did, and uh, I take responsibility for that. I came out in the game, turned the ball over, turnovers that were unforced that should, shouldn't have happened, and then we just it was it's a different experience for us for the new guys, freshmen. And all the young guys. Um, uh, so I think maybe nerves had to play a little bit, but that's no excuse. We we just turned the ball. We we're too loose with the ball, and th and that wasn't on them. That was on us. It started with me. Next question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey, Mike, um, how do you have a quick memory and kind of just try to erase this out of your minds after a big win over Iowa State? Um, Iowa State's in the past, uh, and now this is in the past. And all you could continue to do was learn. Even against Iowa State, we didn't play our best basketball. And um, we, we, weren't, we weren't prepared enough. We didn't prepare the right way for this game, as we should have. And uh, 
again, it's a learning experience. And now we're going to learn from this. And um, now that this is in the past, we're going to learn from it. And we're just going to move on. And as we've got better all season, we're going to keep getting better.